This mother Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another solo leveling Arise video. Thank you guys for the love and support on the recent videos. We are actually about to hit 2100 subscribers on this channel. So hey, if you're new to this channel, subscribe. I basically upload every single day. I was literally staring at this screen for five minutes yesterday. And then I actually came to a realization with the shadow army why they are the way they are right now to a certain degree what they will become in the future patches so i tried to figure out a pattern then i came up with a theory and then i realized hey i got the leaked kit of kaizel and then everything made completely sense. The thing with the Shadow Army right now is we do not have their full power available yet. And you might also feel like uh, we are always using the same shadows as a leader. Then the support is kind of structured in a way. Now I want to visualize so you guys have a better understanding of the Shadow Army and what they will become with the upcoming patches. So here is the visual visualization of the shadow army we have tusk we have igris and we have blades as our main leaders because we're put them in the first slot to get the buffs and then below those three we have iron tusk serbi and this will be the golem by the way and those will be the support shadows and since kaizel is above them he is going to be the squad leader or faction leader because if we also look at the kit just looking at these ones right so we were like oh serbi why does he only have 7% crit damage, right? Why does he not have 30% crit damage? Why is his crit damage so low? The reason why his crit damage is so low is because he's more of a support shadow and is not supposed to be one of the main leads. The main leads are Tusk, Igris, and Blades right now. With attack, crit rate, and core, his role is not to give that huge buff, but to debuff. Now, if we look at the kits of the shadows, now let's take a look at Blades, for example. Let's look at his last skill. So his last skill buffs himself. 1% attack increase. We look at Igris, last skill. 1% buffs his attack increase. We look at Tusk, last skill. Buffs the attack of his of all the shadows. And then we compare that to the support shadows. We have Serbi, debuffs the enemy. Damage taken, 5%. Iron, 12% defense break. Tank, 1 second stun. And then with the golem, he has something, whatever it might be. Maybe defense penetration, something. Or shield destruction. And now, if you upgrade your support shadows they further get buffs defensive buffs for your shadow army in general 40 percent defense buff for your shadow army and with iron he has a shield based on hp to give the shadow army cerberus for example doesn't have that he just gets another skill but he already has two times the combustion debuff i guess that that's his role but just to give you an understanding that this is supposed to the, the, the bottom area is the support role this is the main role and then kaizel will be the faction leader above so we have at least four shadows entering the battle and now um, you think like, okay, well, what, what, what's the leak you're talking about? I'll show you now. So this is the reason why the, this entire theory makes so much sense. Because the first time I read Kaizel's leader skill, it didn't make sense to me. But after looking at this and then realizing the structure of the Shadow Army, it made so much more sense. Because if we read this, additional skill offered by Kaizel when slotted first. Shadow Reinforcement. Boost the attributes of all slaughtered shadows in Sung Jin Wu's army, including attack power, defense, and speed. This additional skill makes Kaizel a highly strategic choice for the first slot, as it enhances the overall effectiveness and strength of the entire shadow army. Also, he has a team support buff, Dragon Fear. This buff increases the combat performance of team members by enhancing the attack power and defense when they are near 
him. Additionally, Dragon Fear weakens enemies by lowering their moral and their ability to fight. So this is the stuff I got. I have a Saurus on information wise of other stuff, but that's the only thing I want to show you. I don't have actual numbers and stuff like that. You can see, so he's basically debuffing the enemies and he's buffing the entire shadow army and this makes so much more sense if you look at the structure that with when kaizela comes we are getting a updated shadow army roster where you pick one of your main leaders two of your supports and then you have your faction leader on top of that and then you also have to think in the future we are getting barrel we're getting different shadows they cannot all fit into that one screen so my assumption is that later down the line we will get a new window tab with new main leaders with new support roles with a new faction leader where we can swap between who we want to use or maybe in the future we can use three factions or two or three five depending on how many they do in total in the future to increase the power and size of the shadow army because jinwu is getting stronger and i also want to know your honest opinion on about this topic right here what are your thoughts let me know in the comments down below if you agree if you disagree what you want to see in the future with that this just makes so much sense and this is why i also do believe that the shadow army ability in the game will become more powerful way 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 more important to use in combat and yeah that's about it for today's videos guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below i really appreciate it. and see you with the next one deuces